right, now let's talk about how to process uh, these parts in order to get a game res. So we'll start with the body over here. And one thing to note, if I click the body here and then we turn on visibility for it, and we hold down our middle mouse button, you're gonna see we have 23 million verts uh, sitting uh, right here. So to kind of speed up any downstream operations you're gonna be doing, one thing you can do is you can poly reduce this. So same thing as like decimating in ZBrush, we can just do a quick poly reduce. I'm gonna hit tab and then type in poly reduce and then just drop that into our scene here. So I'm gonna select the body over here, plug it into poly reduce, and then uh, you're gonna see down here it's gonna start cooking. In this case, it's just analyzing the points. It hasn't really done much of anything yet. So once this is done, we can select this and then turn on visibility for the poly reduce here. And again, it hasn't done anything because poly reduce is set to by default, uh, percentage of input polygon count and it's 100%. So I could change this percentage or uh, I can do this drop down menu and choose something else. So in this case, I can say output polygon count and say like 200,000. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go down here to this auto updater and put it on manual. So if I do this and I switch this out to output polygon count, you're going to see it goes down to a thousand. Now, if I hadn't turned it to manual, it would start processing to dump that down to a thousand. So just to avoid doing that, I just put it over here to manual temporarily. And I'm going to type in, you know, let's say 150,000, hit enter. And then I'll go back in here to auto update and then I'll let it bake. So now you're going to see down here, it's going to say reducing polygons and it's going to give you a percentage. And then once it's done processing that information, It'll go ahead and drop this down to 150,000 polygons, which should be plenty of information to do the downstream operations that we're looking for. We can always go back and bake from our original high res because our original high res is still sitting up here. But while we're doing downstream game resing and stuff, we don't need to have access to 23 million polygons all the time. So we'll just use this poly reduce node to kind of block that. And when it's done, you're going to see in the viewport here, uh, those polygons have dropped dramatically. We still have the overall same information, uh, certainly plenty to go ahead and do a game res from but we don't have to pay the cost of that 23 million. Another thing you can do is you can see we have this lock uh, toggle. You can hold down control and click that lock like it says there, or you can right click the node, go in the flags and choose lock unlock in here. But you know, control click this. And what that's gonna do is stop any upstream investigation into these nodes. So if we have 23 million verts sitting here, uh, we can tell it, hey, don't go past this point. We're gonna go ahead and lock this so that all you ever see is stopped right here at this node. This is gonna make our network cook faster and use less memory. However, whenever you do this, it's going to save the state of this. When you go up here to file, save, and save your Houdini file. So it's going to increase your file size dramatically. You know, it's storing right now 150,000 verts uh, in this state with the Houdini file. However, if you don't do this and you open up the Houdini file, it's going to load the file, split it out, go into the body, and then do all these downstream operations from that point. If you put this in here, it'll start the operations from this point because that's stored, it's cached in the file itself. So just something to consider. You don't have to do this, but again, just showing you some options.